long break here, Bill. We'll see how the teams see if they come back all refreshed and ready to go. Michael Howard in deep with Jack Moran on the power play. Sends it in. Zach Moran takes his oh, fans wide. Cody Perry on a loose puck. So uh, it takes a little bit to get their feet back moving. Nice quick play. Michael Howard wide. Jack Moran on it. Zach pokes it in and, and Tri County will clean it. Down to Christian. And uh, Dylan Perry on it. He's got uh, breaking it out. One guy on him. Zach can't control it. And uh, rides him off so he can't get a shot. And they, like you say, Nantucket is not coming out on fire. Now Dylan Perry's racing for the puck. Got to get things moving here. Puts it on net. <coughs> Clears it in. Michael Howard. And that puck's up. Not caught. Dylan Perry in. Jack Moran. Cody in the slot. Penalties up. Even strength. And uh, Nantucket not really hustling here. You know, they come out a little bit flat. Sometimes that happens after a long break like that. Yeah. We need them to get their adrenaline back up. And Cody Perry has got Zach uh, back to Zach. Zach over to Dylan. Dylan into Cody. Jack ran in front. Looking for that puck to come his way. And Tri County controls it. And uh, looked like a trip, but uh, no call. Michael Howard got away with it. Cody Perry just goes, shoots it high. The goalie got enough on that to make that puck go up into the net, above the net. Yeah, Cody Perry had a clean look at the goal, but he was going in the opposite direction. His momentum was fading, so he tried to get a quick shot. As you say, the goalie got a piece of it and got it out of, uh, out of the air into the uh, non-playing area, so there's no rebound. Okay, so Michael Howard on the, on the faceoff with Derek Marlin and Nick Garvey on his right wing. Nick controls the puck, taken away, but no, he fights for it and keeps it in. A little hustle by Nick McGarvey. Now, this number 12, they can't take him lightly. He moves, nice move on uh, Noah Wing. Avoided the check. Now, Ryan Hoge takes a check. Michael Howard skates out with a puck. And number 12, all over him, but he was able to skate away from him. Nice pass off the skate. Derek Marlin going in. Bad angle, takes a shot anyway. Can't get it through. Goalie had the post covered. And now we're starting to see some good movement here. And uh, the, the physical play is coming back already. And Nick McGarvey battling for the puck on number 12 down there. Michael Howard in on it. Scoots around him. Nice hit by Ryan Hogate. Oh, and he lays him out. That looked like a clean hit, and we're going to get a penalty for the hard hit on Ryan Hogate. He's going to call it an elbow on him. I thought he just gave him a nice front to front hit and the player is not happy throws his helmet well he had, he had enough energy to throw the helmet so yeah he's certainly frustrated we get some swearing going on down here now Now the officials are right down underneath us here discussing it. I don't know if they're going to go with more than just the, uh, the minute and a half. You may, you, yeah. you may see them try to set a precedent and call a game misconduct. That would be I, would, I would say that would be out of, out of that would be way over the top if they call a game misconduct on that hit. It was uh, a hit, and it's hockey. And he went down. He, unfortunately, he took the brunt of the hit, but that doesn't mean it was a malicious hit. I almost thought it was a clean hit, but it happened so quick. It, it, he definitely laid him out, and that's uh, part of the game. I see the official. I see the official putting up five fingers. Really? To talking to Jack Moran. And that. And now Jack Moran's trying to uh, put his two cents in. So. And the refs just saying that. He's waving his hands like that's what the call is. So I think we're going to see that. Uh, Ryan Holgate's headed to the locker room. Okay, I don't like that call at all, Dick. I, I don't think that was warranted. But the refs, like you say, are going to try to keep this game under control, and that's how they're going to do it, by penalizing the, the, the Nantucket this? player. To me, it seems almost like a makeup on the other one, which they didn't call, which we yeah, right. the kid got hurt. This, this kid's down over here. 
He threw his helmet. He threw his helmet. He got up. He sat up. He threw his helmet. Then he went back down again. And this is all for effect now. Uh, Dave Webb's not here right, unless he's out there. No, Dave Webb is over there. He is over there. Dave's leaning down over him. Uh, the five minute is called, so Nantucket will be down five. Uh, they're down for the whole time, right? Even if they right. score. This is a that's a major. It's and, a major penalty. The kid's getting the kid's getting up. He's getting a fine uh, round of applause. And it's. 3-3 with 12:41 left in the second period, and uh, I think the, I think the kid's mouthing off to the, the referee. I think, I, yeah, I think the kid is more angry about you know the whole situation more than being hurt. To me, that was my first reaction when I saw him sit up and throw the helmet. Yeah. They give him a little concussion test. Uh, as we know, Dave Webb's got the whole Nantucket High School sports. Board, uh, athletes have done a pre-test and then they do an after-test and very serious about the concussions. So I, I, I think you're right, Dick. I think he's angry that he got hit so hard. Well, the open concussion test was, you know, who's the 36th president? Well, I don't know that whether I hit bang my head or not, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, you're a little bit more serious about it now. Tyler, yeah, Gino yeah. knows. Gino passed the Gino, test. Oh, good. Good we, got, good we got somebody in the stands here. I might have a concussion. <laughs> It wasn't Nixon? <laughs> All right, you made it up. Okay. Okay. I don't feel good so dumb now. Gino, yeah. Gino's, Gino's, you came up with an answer. Gino's playing with me now. Mm. Rubbing well, it you in. You didn't know, so I figured I'd be <laughs> Well, Tri County uh, over here strategizing now. And. Uh, it was one taking the, the, the hit forward when he hit him, and then when he falls down on the ice and hitting his head, that's the second hit. And uh, hopefully he had a good helmet and a mouthpiece in. Well, yeah, but what I saw was him sitting up, throwing the helmet, and then laying back down again. So, yeah. you know, you, you, you don't, you don't want to say, you don't want to say he wasn't hurt. Right. Uh, he did come off the ice on his own, and Trainer Webb's over there behind talking with him, so. We may see him back on the game, but right now the big task for Nantucket is they got to play uh, five minutes uh, without a fifth skater, and they got to play the rest of the game without uh, Holgate. That's right. So Cody Perry take the face off, killing the penalty with Dylan Perry and Jack Moran and Zach Moran. Cody Dylan Perry tried to clear the puck and shot it right into the thigh pad of. The Tri County player. So they're trying a little backdoor action. Zach with control off the glass. Can't get it out. Kick save by number four for Tri County. And uh, setting up the power play. Cody chasing. So Cody's going to chase, and the other three are going to cover area. And now they set it side to side. Looking for a shot from the point. Plays it in deep behind the net. Now Dylan chases. He almost gets control of it. It's going to be a long penalty, like you say, Dick, four minutes without a goal. And now the Antigua definitely has to get that puck and get it out of the zone. Now Zach Moran's going to send it. Nice soft send, so it takes its time getting down there. And only one Nantucket personal forecheck, and coaches are saying, lay back, lay back. That's Jack Moran. How long can you keep these four guys on, or do you got to go to a second four? You definitely have to go to a second four. But these are the, the uh, three seniors and Dylan Perry, who's a junior. So the, the upperclassmen are out here killing the penalty. They have the most experience for doing this. And uh, Dylan can't clear it. And uh, now we got another penalty on Nantucket. Trip on Cody Perry. Um, this, is, this is what happens if you get a game like this and you start getting too many penalties. It t the score goes up pretty quick. So Nantucket's going to be down two men now for a minute and a half. There's 241 left in the original penalty. Island Lumber, Pratt Lambert paints available at Island Lumber. Rain or shine, Island Lumber is always on time. And uh, now, five on three is a tough thing to uh, cover at any level. This is uh, usually a guaranteed goal by the offensive team. And Nantucket's just trying to keep the puck away from the goal. Now that one's right tight. We got uh, some people trying to get in the crease. 
and cause a problem. Now this good break from Nantucket. Zach Rand shoots it out. And this is what Nantucket will have to do. We'll see what happens. Uh, 217, minute six on the, the second penalty on Cody. 213 on Ryan Olgate's major penalty, which again, I don't get that call. Makeup call, like you said, on the, on the knee hit. Nice centering pass. Zach, oh, Jack Rand can't get anything on it. And he's interfered with, but no call. And there's a nice save by Christian. Christian Lombardi, awesome save. Kicked that pad out, kept that goal out. And we're down to 38 seconds here with the second penalty. Dylan Perry's gonna get it some room and let it fire. He's getting, he's gonna skate and now. Sends it deep. And uh, Tri-County doing all that kind of instigate some more penalties on Nantucket. Going out of their way to hit him with a stick. 13 brings it in, sends it to 12. He's not paying attention. Jack Moran interfered with. Good play by Jack. He's hustling, being tied up. Eight seconds left on oh, Cody's they, penalty. They killed the double penalty. They're gonna get a man back here in two seconds. One second now, we're even, five on four. And I think they only got two shots up. Cody Perry comes in. He's gonna be careful not to do anything wrong here. Zach can ice it, and he does. Now we're down to 58 seconds on the penalty. They're trying to get someone to change up. Puck, puck comes around, Cody Perry on it. He's gonna get hit from behind and the puck gets taken away from him, but that's good kill and penalty kill. 45 seconds, Dylan Perry sends it in deep. Nantucket doing his job, they're trying to get some new flags on the ice. They get one set, two sets. Michael Howard in with uh, Noah Wing now. 30 seconds left on the major. Into Noah, he's got to get it out quick. Does a good job center, center ice. This is a good, if they can pull this off, this is a good momentum builder for Nantucket. It's an unbelievable four minutes right now. They got to finish it though. And now it's the center ice with 15 seconds left on it. Trying to center it up and uh, that'll help out right there. Noah Wing sends it around to Dylan Perry. And Michael Howard on it, tying it up. Thing they need to do is get it out. One second, even five on five, they've done it. And on comes Nick McGarvey. And Nantucket, Nantucket's got tired legs out there now. They want to get the. It's it icing. Be icing. And we get icing. Good call. I was I was just getting ready to say Nantucket should ice it just so they can get new legs on there and Tri County. Helps Tri County out. did it. So unbelievable stretch there, Bill, of yeah. five minutes plus of when Nantucket played. Uh, down one man for five of the minutes and down two minutes for a minute and a half and it's still three to three. So that's, now they just need to, to break this tie and with 8.27 left in the, 27 left in the second. <laughs> Everybody's trying to take a little extra rest, trying to figure out who's supposed to be on the ice now. Now they got their teams, their, their lines back together. Zach Rand's gonna stay at defense, take Ryan Holgate's position. And Cody Perry goes into play center, which is usually Zach's position. Jack Moran in on the puck with Cody. Some, some big boys down there playing right now. A nice hard hit. Now that was a clean hit as well, and, and Tri-County looking for a penalty as well. Nantucket gets it out of the zone. Up to Nick McGarvey, he takes it in. He's got three people to beat, can't do it. Loose puck, sent off cross to Zach Moran inside the Nantucket defensive zone, flicks it up, and it'll be Picked up by the defenseman for Tri-County. Big boy, number six. And uh, a lot of hitting now. It's getting a little chippy. And that's what we expected. And now we're going to get a penalty on uh, a, bit, a late hit behind the scene and retaliated, and he got caught. He's, uh, he's mouthing off to the Nantucket bench there. So uh, now... Uh, Gonna get at least a minute and a half. Now the referee's talking to him. He may pick up more for mouth and off. He's looking for his number too. He knew Mar one of them did it. Marine Home Center, everything for your Nantucket home. Marine Home Center, Lower Orange Street, bringing your portion to this power play. Joe Rapaki CPA, tax season's right around the corner. Give Joe a call, 228-9090. Joe handles small or large accounting services. Oh. They saw fun by Nantucket, Derek Marlin with the puck. Sends it back to Zach. He's got it into Cody, nice pass. Over to Michael Howard. Michael sends it home. Top shelf. Beautiful play. Michael, pass. 
Michael's a real sniper boy. Yeah, he gets a puck like that, he's not gonna miss. He's uh, and he does it from different areas. He, he shot that one high. It looked like it was gonna go over the net, but uh, it caught the caught the top of the net there. It shook the uh, shook the water bottle. I love when the water bottle moves and the goal counts. You know that it's in if it got, the water bottle pops off the backside. So that was from uh, Zach Moran to Cody Perry, who then sent it over to Michael Howard, who finished the game, finished the shot. 7:32 left. We got a little argument going. So that's uh, Michael's uh, second goal of the game. And it comes at a, uh, a great time after Nantucket went to a long stretch being a man down. They took advantage of the man up. So Nantucket, Michael Howard with it. Sends it in, nice shot on net. Almost Kyle Muir able to pick up that rebound. Would have been a great fifth goal. The stick gets knocked out of his hand. And he's getting pushed around, trying to get control of his stick first. Controls the puck, great play by Kyle. Sent in by Dylan Perry. Derek Marlin on it. Over to Michael Howard. Michael Howard sends it back to Zach Moran playing lefty. And Zach's going to send it in low. Nice shot. Oh, just kick save by the goalie. And Dylan Perry does a good job keeping that puck from going out. Michael Howard hit. Hit again. Oh, double hit. Body's flying. And uh, ref is watching to see if Michael retaliated. He doesn't. An interference by number 12. Two players went at Michael there. They hit him from both sides. They're playing a little, little chippy here. Trying to get that goal back the wrong way by hitting and causing trouble, but uh, Nantucket's doing a good job just maintaining their composure, not chasing anybody. This is the first time tonight that uh, Tri-County's been losing. So back in on Christian, he's flexed to Zach. Zach skating up. He sends it up to Derek Marlin, center ice. He's got Zach with him on his wing. Sends it in, nice shot on goal. And uh, Tri-County's guy skates over. Number 12 skated over his own goalie. And they're trying to blame it on Zach. They say, no, it's your own man. So uh, another collision. Something else to slow down Gino for you. <laughs> we gotta see that one back again. <laughs> This could be this could be a hot commodity tape. So, yeah. maybe better make we, a couple extra CDs we and better, save us. Uh, between periods, Bill, we better go put some makeup on. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's gonna be looking at this one. Yep, yep. <laughs> Six oh nine. Oh, nice, go. nice. Good job, buddy. Skater Aiden and Zach. Not a lot of smarts on that player. Number eleven skated off the ice. Skater Aiden and Zach, because the refs aren't watching. Skates straight in and gives him an elbow as he went by him. Zach just turned around and smiled at him. Which one's Zach? Zach's number 17 here at the point. You probably had it on your film. Maybe. But uh, now they're talking to the goalies. It yeah, it happened right in front of us here, going by as Bill said. Uh, he realized that the, the, the officials are down there attending to other things so he can get away a, a little elbow without nobody uh, noticing. We saw it up here. <laughs> Nothing's getting by us tonight, Dick. No way. The face-off, controlled by Cody, sends it on net. Oh, Ricochet almost went in. <laughs> a nice shot there, it almost caught the goalie uh, by surprise. And uh, the rebound was almost picked up. If there was a rebound, Nick McGarry was there. And uh, number six, who's the biggest guy on the ice at the moment, he made sure to go right over and, and let Z uh, Nick know who he was. Face-off won, but it gets out of the zone. Dylan Perry on it, number 10 chasing him. He does a good job controlling at the blue line over to Jack Moran who's got Nick McGarry on his wing. Nick's got Dylan with him. Nick's got some good speed, sends it in off the goalie's face mask up into the corner and they try to kick it up. Puck center ice picked up by Zach Moran. Zach sends it over towards the bench and out. Saw the coaches jump there. <laughs> Zach was taking aim. Some excitement here. We got a penalty? No, a tag up. Tagged up outside. Zach ran. 17 coming in on him. He's going to hit him. Dylan takes a hit. And the ref's watching real close, telling him to knock it off. Nick McGarry gets the pass off the boards. Center ice in to Cody. Got Jack Moran with him. Cody picks up the loose puck, trying to slow it down. Shoots. Oh, Nick McGarry just skates by the puck. 
almost had a chance to stuff it home. Yeah, if he waited at the corner, the puck would have camped to him. He went looking for it, and it went right by him. Yeah, it would have been a nice goal. So icing on Tri-County with 4.53 left here in the second. Nantucket still up 4-3. to three. Okay, face-off coming up right down on the Tri-County, and face-up brought to us by Santos Rubbish Removal. We clean up the islands. Go Wheelers, Santos. The, the uh, referee over here explaining something to the Tri-County coach. He doesn't like, I don't think he likes where the face-off's coming from. I was telling, trying to get the players off on the bench, off the boards. Get them off the boards, okay. back off the ice, because they're, they're, they're doing a lot of yelling and back and forth. And, and, and uh, Tri-County kids are, are pushing their luck there. Nice shot off the face-off. That's Michael Howard. He's got the Derek Marlin the puck in the corner. Can't control it just yet, knocked off it. And Tri-County trying to break it out. Kyle Muir comes in, grabs a loose puck. Noah Wing kicks it up. Puck gets by him. Marshall Slade with him. Sends it over to number three. And a uh, little collision at the goal. The body makes a save, though. It hangs on. Uh, Tri-County players just standing right over him, looking for a rebound. He didn't put it out. And then like it's uh Skaters uh, surrounded Lombardi, making sure nobody would knock it out. Face off uh, coming up here in Nantucket and brought to us by Brock Insurance. Wants to wish each student the best possible school year. Go Will is Brock. Face off one by Tri County back to their defenseman. Picked up by, let's see, Michael Howard. Kyle Muir racing for the puck, knocked off it. Good effort though. Michael Howard in there. He picks up the loose puck, knocks it off Kyle Skate, and on it is Zach Moran. Gets it into. Derek Marlin, now Kyle Muir will go behind the net. Takes a hit, gives a hit. Michael Howard gets a nice push. And Kyle overskates the puck. Tri-County breaking out to center ice. Derek falls down, it's a great swap. Almost as it planned. And Zach Moran, he's got the loose puck. He's got two, two men to beat. Shoots on net, pops it up. Nice uh, rebound there, but no one was able to get a hold of it. Jack Moran on the ice. Pope check at the center ice. Number four brings it in. Tri-County looking for a shot opportunity. Nantucket looking to keep it out of there. Loose puck in front. Kicked up. It's out. And offsides on Tri-County. Yeah, he tried to play it after he knocked it down and uh, gets called for the out offside. So it'll be a face-off over here to the right. The face-off is brought to us by Mr. T Insulation. Offering isonine spray on insulation. Give Richie a call, 325 3147. Well, this game's exciting. I can feel my heart pumping. This is good stuff. It's good stuff. <laughs> yeah, Tucker wins the face off. Zach Moran up to Dick McGarvey. He's got Cody off Cody Skate. Cody kicks it in, stays on side. So I guess I was wrong on that call. Looked good to me. Of course, um, I don't have the better angle. 3.18 to go, another offside call, so they're going to have a face-off right down here in front of us. But still not the uh, worst position for Nantucket to be taking a face-off. No, better than that two men down penalty. No wing over to Zach Moran. Zach Moran tries to hit uh, Jack Moran off the boards. Cody goes over to give him some help. Zach doing a great job muscling his, keeping his feet there. And Tri County sneaks out with it. No wing almost. Gives him a nice hip check there. Good hit to knock the Tri-County player off the, off the puck. And Nick McGarry comes up with the loose puck. He's got uh, Jack Moran can't make contact on the, at the red line. Good forecheck by Nick McGarry. Cody's waiting. He waits long enough. He's in. He's got Jack Moran. Nick McGarry sends it in. Jack Moran, oh, can't spin around and get a backhand on that. Shot, quick shot by Cody. Loose puck in front still. No wing over to Zach. Zach Rand shoots. Oh, he skated away and closed his hand on the puck. And that's a uh, whistle. Okay, carrying the puck will be the cost. So we'll have a face off back here where it happened. Remember to check out the fairgrounds. Fabulous food, fun atmosphere, and fair price at the fairgrounds. Make fairgrounds your Super Bowl headquarters this weekend coming up. Activities going on all day long, Sunday at the fairgrounds as the uh, Patriots and the New York football giants. Uh, it's gonna be a classic Super Bowl. We saw paper as we head for it, huh, Bill? Definitely, it's a lot of exciting. 
excitement building up to it. Even watching the plane arrive yesterday was fun. I, I really haven't gotten into a Super Bowl at, as much as I am this year. It just seems like a lot, lot to be earned by a win by the Patriots, but it should be a tough game. The, the Giants have come a long, long way here at the end of the season. Yeah, Giants are a tough team right now. They're very hot. Michael Howard with the puck over the blue line. He's got, uh, looks like Derek Marlin coming in. Michael says a quick shot. No one's expecting that shot. And it's going to get back to Dylan. Keeps it in, sends it in the front. Oh, almost, oh. almost picked up by Kyle Muir. Yeah, nice deflection there. That goalie uh, is uh, playing a great game for Tri-County, really keeping him in here. Near Tuckett uh, has had a lot of chances like that around the net, and uh, he has held them off. So some John going on, a loose puck out front. Michael Howard getting uh, talked to by one of the Tri-County players, and the other defenseman was holding him back. Kyle Muir on the right wing, Derek Marlin on the left. Dylan Perry on the left D, Zach Mann on the right D. So Zach's getting a lot of ice time at the moment and Dylan as well, with Ryan Hogate in the locker room. Again, oh. I, uh, I hope they don't give him a, another suspension for that hit, because that would be bad enough he gets taken on this game. Oh, oh nice opportunity. Oh. Kyle Muir says that pass to Michael Howard, and the goalie's down again, and I don't know how he got hit this time. Uh, looks like the goalie got hit and Michael Howard is going to the box I think so I didn't even see that happen another I, I, thing I to think, play back I think, was the, I think it was on the after that I think I, right now Tri-County is doing a lot of flopping as, as the phrase goes they're taking a lesson from the Montreal Canadiens I think the officials are losing control of this I game I think so we got some serious problems with the officiating um, the officials over there talking to uh, both coaches. Both coaches are upset right now. We're not getting a call on him. On a roughing call on Michael Howard. The goalie went down. The goalie went down after the shot. I, I couldn't hear what they were saying. But now the goalie's up bouncing around. So you know that's that's, that's a different goalie. Is it a different goalie? Yeah, they just changed goalies. The other one went to the locker room. Yeah, he was hurting. He went with the web. So the goalie is injured. All right, I missed that. I think he got something to his throat. Is there a penalty? Penalty on Michael Howard. Michael Howard. Min minute and a half. So five on four. So that the penalty will take up the, most of the rest of this period. And it's got to kill another, another power play. Oh, Cody Perry did a nice hit on him, which is clean to hit the guy with the puck. You got to catch the puck, you can take a hit. But I did. In my mind, he had that puck in his hand a little Again, bit too long. You can't clasp the puck. That's what the you, other guy got you called can, for. You can bring the ball, puck down. You can't hold it and drop it in front of you. That's what he did. So Cody Perry hits him, and the, the Tri-County coaches are looking for a penalty again. Tough to, tough to play this game when you're being singled out all the time. Shot on net, stopped by Christian, and covered up. And again, Cody wrestling with the captain for, as Dylan actually wrestling with the captain for Tri-County, who was trying to screen um, Christian on that shot. Christian's, Christian's playing good under this uh, tough power play right now going on. And uh, Jack Moran gets a stick on the puck, knocks the puck out of the zone. Get you all tangled up there, Gino. Oh, now Cody, Cody t takes him down. And uh, there's still, a, oh, there's gonna be a trip call. No, no call. Good. And uh, like you say, Dick, I think the refs are losing control now this game. But Cody Perry's definitely going out now. Oh. Cody's going to go out with a boarding, so Nantucket's going to be uh, down two men again for 46 seconds. <laughs> there we go. All right. 
Wait, uh, no. We're going to face off down the other zone? No, no. <laughs> Referee was confused. And it'd be five on three for 46 seconds. And we have two seniors in the penalty box. So Derek Marlin will take the face off with Dylan Perry and Zach Moran, who I think has been on the ice almost the whole second period. Yeah, not a good situation here. You know, Nantucket dodged the big board earlier this period. I, I just don't have a good feeling about them getting out of this one. Yeah, this one's they, they really, They're really going to need a break, a, a puck to bounce their way. And there's the bounce, there's, there's the, the bounce. bounce. Now they don't want to chase it. Uh, put a little pressure on, 56 seconds. And Derek Marlin does a good job getting in there. Takes, takes control of the puck, sends it back. They're killing this penalty well. Zach Moran sends it in deep. 45 seconds in the period, 27 seconds on the penalty. And uh, Derek Marlin chasing and uh, being ridden off the puck. Nice penalty oh, there. It was a stick yeah. in his back. No, no call. No call, I guess. Sent in, 13 with the puck. He's the one that just took a hard shot on. Uh, he stopped, he stopped going up the ice to talk to the Nantucket like a bench. And, uh, Derek Marlin just kept skating. Derek on the first, puck. First penalty's over, five on four. 12 seconds left in the period. Michael Howard picks up the loose puck, nine seconds. Sends it up, it's getting slashed. They're gonna let it go. <laughs> I think the refs have lost control of this period. And Nantucket does a great job coming out of this period with a lead, four to three. Third Nant Nantucket spent most of the period killing penalties and they got the only goal of the period. So unbelievable uh, turn of events when you consider everything, Bill. Definitely. 27 seconds left on Cody Perry's penalty when we come back for the third period.